This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jos. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 6, verses 22 to 29. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. The next day, the crowd that has left behind realized that there had been only one boat and that Jesus had not gotten into it with his disciples. They had seen them go off without him. By now, boats from Tobias had pulled up near where they had eaten the bread blessed by the master. So when the crowd realized he was gone and wasn't coming back, they piled into the Tobias boats and headed for Caponium, looking for Jesus. When they found him back across the sea, they said, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, You have come looking for me not because you saw God in my actions, but because I fed you, filled your stomachs, and for free. Don't waste your energy striving for perishable food like that. Work for the food that sticks with you, food that nourishes your lasting life, food the Son of Man provides. He and what he does are guaranteed by God the Father to last. To that they said, Well, what do we do then to get in on God's works? Jesus said, Sign on with the one that God has sent. The kind of a commitment gets you in on God's works. The Gospel of the Lord Reflections on the Holy Gospel according to St. John chapter 6 verses 22 to 29. The author of the Gospel is not reporting an actual conversation between Jesus and the crowd. Today's passage is a theological reflection addressing matters of dispute between the Christian community and their Jewish contemporaries of his time. Jesus had fed 5000 people with five loaves on the other side of the lake and now he is back in Capernaum The crowd who witnessed the miracle and ate the bread now comes in search of him Jesus understands their need You look for me because you ate bread and were satisfied he says It is the literary style of John. We see him using this writing technique while narrating the story of the Samaritan woman who tells Jesus, "Sir, give me this water so that I may not be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water." By telling the story of the crowd who runs for bread from Jesus, John points out to his community the shallowness of their faith. They believed in Jesus to obtain some favors for a miraculous cure, success in business, enough food and a comfortable living. Even today many believe in Jesus hoping to obtain favors from the Lord and some miraculous healings or blessings. Jesus reminded the crowd and now reminds us to ask ourselves the motive of our practicing religion. John teaches such community members work then not for perishable food but for the lasting food which gives eternal life. It is love and sharing that produce bread in abundance. Today, decoding the symbolisms of John, many scripture scholars would say the five loaves are the five books of Moses, the Torah, and the two fish represented the books of the prophets and other scriptures of Israel to complement the Torah. Multiplying the five loaves and the two fish implies that Jesus fed the multitude with the word of God. We should also remember the words of Jesus, 
man does not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of god how do we nourish ourselves with this bread what must we do the crowd in capernaum asked jesus the answer is the last verse of today's gospel not many works but only one to believe in him the word of god whom the father sent no other thing is required